calling it one of the toughest marathons ever. Runners say today's Blue Ridge Marathon was hard to defeat. 10 News reporter Alexis Davila tells us how the COVID-19 safety measures didn't stop the spirit of the race. Separated by spots marked by chalk and divided into 50 groups, nearly 2,800 racers laced up and took off in the Blue Ridge Marathon. The coronavirus pandemic gave experienced runners like Daniel Montgomery more time to train. I'm running about two, three times a week. I live in a place that's very rural, so I got a lot of mountains, so I got, I got a lot of practice doing this. Then there's Betsy White, dressed in suspenders and colorful buttons, eager for her first time on the course and a chance to bring a little fun along the way. Sometimes runners look like they're really struggling, and then they see me, and it just makes them smile. You know, it just makes me smile. It's just, we had to be there for each other, lift each other up, so. That's the right attitude needed to push through as our own John Carlin described this race the best. You're about to be uncomfortable in America's toughest road marathon. With more than 7,400 feet of elevation on the course, many runners say it was brutal. Oh, it was crazy. I've, this is probably the toughest race I've ever done, and I've done a lot of races. Injuring his foot five miles in, Aaron Spack put in his blood, sweat, and tears to ultimately win his first marathon ever. You know, the, the uphills were painful. The downhills were kind of terrifying. I thought I was going to like break my ankles. I was going so fast. Grabbing their medals and water bottles in the end. Racers say they look forward to returning next year. In Roanoke, Alexis Davila, 10 News, working for you.